Python set, let's talk about it. No, we are not going to jump directly into the coding, you know. This is a mistake. We first must understand what is set. So when we talk about set, it comes along with, you know, list, tuple, dictionary and set, right? Now dictionary and set is different because dictionary is a key value stored. But set is very similar to tuples or list, which means that there must be something different in set as compared to list or tuple. That's why it is there, right? Always remember, if there is something that is there in software, there must be some utility for that. Otherwise, it will not be there. Now, before we go ahead and talk about set, let's try to use set in common day to day language, right? We call set of people, set of things. Even there is something called crockery set, right? What does set means? Set means, you know, more than one thing and more than one unique things. For example, if I just show you my pictures, will this be called as set of me? The answer is, you know, theoretically, you know, this could be set of me, but this looks weird, right? This is me, right? In each and every picture, it's me. I am duplicated. So it's not a set of me. It could be set of me at different places, right? So set represent unique values. You can have duplicate values in list. You can have duplicate values in tuple. But in the set, you will only have unique elements. Sorry, I was stating values. So let's go ahead and see how to use Python set in Python. Okay, here is the code. And before we go ahead and start understanding how to use set, extremely important thing. A set object is an unordered collection of distinct hashable object. Now distinct, you might have understood it's a unique item, but hashable object, what is the meaning of hashable object? Remember, dictionary keys can only be hashable. So hashable is something which has a hash value, okay, and never changes during its lifetime, okay? You know how to check the identity of object, all those things I have talked about in my previous videos, but let's take a small recap, okay? Just for FYI, only immutable Python objects can have hash value. And these are the immutable Python objects. Now, I have created a variable where is equal to 100. If I see the hash value, it is there. The hash value itself is 100. And to check the identity of that particular variable, I will use ID. And this is the ID of that particular VAR. Now, what will happen when I assign 200 to var? What happens? What will happen to a hash value? Hash value became 200 from 100, right? But how does hash changed? We said that, you know, hash will remain same uh, for the lifetime of the object, which is correct because when I assign 200 to var, a new var is created with 200. The existing is destroyed, okay? So that's why if you see the ID, this ID and this ID is different. Look at the last four or five digits. The ID is different. These two are different, different objects. That's the precise reason we can use these integer variables or floating point or a string as part of set. Okay, they could be part of set. So a set is a collection of distinct, unique, no duplicates, hashable objects, only immutable objects. Okay. Now a set can't have another list or dictionary in it because they are not immutable they will not have the hash function. Go ahead and try to call hash function on list or dictionary. There is no hash function and you will get an error. Okay. So here is how I create a set. Okay. I will call the set constructor right now and I will pass one, two, three, four, five, right? I can pass it within curly braces or square bracket. Anything would be fine. Okay. If I see the type, type is set. Okay. And if I see the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the value of the set. Okay. Now the first thing that comes is that you need to add data to the set. And I can add the data by calling add function hello world and hello world is added in the set. Now, now the biggest USP of set is that it can't have duplicate values and you don't need to worry about it set will automatically take care of it. It will not ask you to go ahead and check if there is the element already exist with this particular value now. Okay. So if I just go ahead and add hello 
add one even though it doesn't give me any error both hello and one is already there this is not gonna give me any error but you know it is not gonna duplicate the value you see that there is no two hello now one small mistake people does is that you know small case or upper case is a different string so this hello will be added always remember okay now if you want to add multiple elements in the set at one go right with add we used to add one one element you can use update to add multiple elements in the set so in this particular case i have just uh, added some random numbers updating it and in the val i will get all those numbers okay now one very important thing set is unindexed it means that just like list you cannot access it using index notation like zero is this one is this no it is unindexed which means that the way things are arranged in set it may differ okay so you can see that when i updated 1200 came here 89 went here um, you can't guarantee things how the things will turn out so they are unindexed you cannot use index to set the val okay and this is the val now now if you want to get the very first element of the set you can call pop function pop okay now let's talk about removing item from the set there are two ways of removing item with key error without key error with key error means if the element is not there it will give you a key error if the element is there it will not give you any error okay so remove will give you a key error so if i say remove hello a small h it is there it will be removed but if i call remove again with the same hello it will give me a key error saying that this hello is not there but if i use discard okay it will discard it will do the same thing as we did it with remove the discard will not give you any error in case that particular element is not there okay now let's talk about mathematical operations using sets we can do normal mathematical operations like union and intersections so you must know union and intersection mean union means you know all the unique between two set or with two set intersection means things which are common in both the sets so for example let's talk about you want to calculate you know number of employees so all the employees are in different set and you want to come up with unique set of employees okay so you just do union you will get unique set of employees so there are two set s1 and s2 one is having 1 2 3 4 5 6 and second is 5 6 7 8 9 10 if i do union i will call union function and pass s2 s1 union s2 i will get all the unique elements of the union of these two set and i can call it either way i can call s2 union s1 the results will be same let's talk about intersection i will call s1 intersection s2 so basically the items or elements which are common in both s1 and s2 which is 5 6 will be there and again whether you are doing intersection between s1 and s2 or s2 and s1 the end result will be same okay so that's all about set i hope and believe that i was able to explain what is set how to use basic functionality of it and under what condition you should think about using set thank you all thanks for watching we will meet again until the next time we meet good day goodbye you take care